As of AD 1561, Emperor Akbar claimed complete authority over the nation. He wanted Dakani kings like the Rajputs to accept his suzerainty. His earlier diplomats surging the Dakani kingdoms to recognize his overlordship and befriend him failed. Mughal suzerainty was resisted by the Dakani kingdoms until they could exercise military pressure. Akbar began diplomatic operations in 1591. He sent envoys to the Dakani kingdoms to invite Mughal rule. No kingdom accepted this demand save Khandesh, which was too near to the Mughals to oppose. The Mughal envoy was rudely treated by Ahmednagar ruler Burhan Nizam Shah, although the others made friendly pledges. After Burhan's death in 1595, Nizam Shahi nobles fought factionally, giving him the chance. Each political party endorsed one of four throne contenders. The dead ruler's son Bahadur made the strongest claim. Ibrahim Atil Shah II of Bijapur supported Bahadur's claim. She was Burhan's sister and the widow of Ibrahim Adil Shah's uncle, Bijapur's monarch. She was a wonderful woman who controlled Bijapur for nearly 10 years when Ibrahim Adil Shah was young. She went to Ahmednagar to grieve her brother Burhan, but she stayed to defend her nephew Bahadur, a minor. The opposing Deccanese requested the Mughals to interfere. The Mughal invasion was led by the governor of Gujarat, Prince Murad, and Abdur Rahim Khan Aikhaman. Khandesh's ruler was asked to cooperate. The Mughals met little resistance until they reached the capital, Ahmednagar, due to factional fighting among the Ahmednagar nobles. Chand Bibi barricaded herself in the fort with Bahadur, the minor king. After a four-month siege in which Chand Bibi played a heroic role, the two sides reached an agreement. They agreed to cede Beira to the Mughals in exchange for recognition of Bahadur's claim. Mughal suzerainty was also acknowledged. This occurred in 1596.